Welcome to another video of machine learning tutorials. Do it yourself. In this video, we're going to talk about root mean square error or root, root mean square deviation. It's a very important KPI, which is key performance indicator to understand the difference between the predictive predicted value and the actual value seen in the data. This is a good indicator on how good or bad your model is. Root mean square deviation or error is a square root of mean of the squares of all the errors. Repeat, square root of mean of the squares of all the errors. It compares, as I mentioned, forecasting errors to the target variable. And this is the formula, square root mean predicted minus actual raised to the power two. Let's do the hands-on. Remember this file is available on the Google Drive link, which was mentioned in the previous video. So in this, please note that I'm not restricting the data and all the data from this CSV I am going to put it in the income DF data frame. I'm sorry. There you go. Here, this is the income DF. And let's look at the data. It's all the data set. Let's create a model similar to the previous video wherein spend is the target variable and income and job are the predictor variables and put it in the model. Next is, please note that for the prediction, I am gonna give the same model used for training. This can be done if you want to understand how good or bad your model is performing. Now that I have the spend value, if you run it, it's going to calculate the spend value for all and then the difference. The difference would be spend value minus the income data frame spend, which is going to be the difference of all the values. And I don't want to be running difference, it doesn't make sense, then square root of mean of the difference raised to the power 2. This is going to give us the RMSE. So RMSE and let's print RMSE here. And you can see RMSC is 174.84, which is the root mean square error of all the variables or all the calculations, predictions, which the model has done. Is it good or bad? Is actually dependent on R squared. So let's look at R squared. So R squared is 91%. Based on the values 0.91, you can see that is the confidence level of the model. Again, RMSC is giving you a root mean square of the errors. That means how close the values are to the predicted model. What is the error, mean error, which is 177. It depends on 174 which we have calculated manually so it depends on the number of values the amount this is not a straightforward answer on how good or bad your model is but R squared is straightforward answer and this says that 
0.91 is the confidence level with which the model is able to predict. So R squared is another KPI to look at the performance of the model. Let's see what R squared is. R squared is a statistical measure on how close the data is to the fitted regression line. Remember the regression line which goes to or from the closest available values in the graph which we discussed in the previous videos. It's also known as coefficient of determination or coefficient of multiple determination for multiple values. Now R squared is conveniently placed between 0 to 1 or scaled between 0 to 1 which gives you a measure on how good or mad, bad the model is. And obviously you would want the R squared value to be much closer to 1 which gives you a better confidence level. It's basically a confidence level on how good or bad your model is. Hands-on machine learning. Exercise number 10. Download the data customerageincome.csv from the Google link drive. Implement and implement a simple and multiple linear regression model for target variable using predictor variables like age, income, job, auto loan indicator, gender and marital status. Please note that you would want to add one predictor level at one time and see how RMSE and R squared changes. Now note for R, note RMSE and the R squared values for each of the additional variables. Thank you for watching.